Alright, Angel Wolf here. Welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Here's the terrain I've generated in 1.3. I have built a lot more of the Cross Chunk Expressway. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Captured a little bit more of the villages. And we have some nice snowy terrain starting to build up. We have found a few mushroom biomes. Those will be useful later. I'll be linking them up in another uh, later in release 1.16. We're on 1.3 right now. Release 1.3. So that's when we'll be utilizing those because I want all the nether terrain changes to happen at the same time. I don't want different nether. I don't want old school nether and new nether. I want all new nether. As you can see, here is the uh, terrain change that cut that village off. Because this is 1.2 terrain. And this is 1.3 terrain. <coughs> As you can see, I have started putting in as many uh, border and center chunk bases as possible. There is one behind this mountain, it's just not visible in this angle. Uh, here is... See, this is... 1.1, this is 1.2, this is 1.2 center, this is 1.2 edge. And I haven't built the 1.3 center yet. Alright, let's take a look at the cave system. Lots of mine shafts. That's what all these glowing bits are. These are lots of mine shafts. Mine shafts are everywhere in the cave system. When you light up the cave system, you will see a lot more of your underground. This dark spot here is my uh, beta 1.73 world that I haven't lit up yet. There's some surface level caves on the edge of the chunk border that got uh, mapped. Alright, let's load up release 1.3 and take a look. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. As you see, we are release 1.3.2 and we're going to load up my 1.3 world that I generated with MC Edit. So we're going to walk to the 1.3 world border, world chunk border, and I'm going to give you a tour and try and try to be interesting in talking. I have a jungle sapling, sapling in my inventory because I was doing some exploring and making sure the world works. We're in the beta 1.3. 1.7.3 terrain right now. The world is having a little bit of a time trying to load up. Here are some spawners I captured in, not captured, but marked in uh, MC Edit <coughs> so that I could, if I need content later, and I will, we'll be able to capture those spawners and build a mob grinder out of them. So let's get over to our railroad, our future railroad, and have a look around and explore release 1.3 of Angel Wolf's Journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this version of Minecraft, there were some slight terrain changes, but mostly the changes were to do with villages uh, desert villages now spawn uh, 
with sandstone as the construction material instead of cobblestone like this and wood. That was the one realistic major change. So let's get going on finding our 1.3 terrain change world border. <coughs> Up until one point, release 1.4, the uh, map size uh, for Minecraft in-game map was 500, was 1,024 across. Uh, in 1.4, it changed it to 2,024 blocks across, or 2,048. I'm sorry. Here is. Are release 1.0 world border chunk border uh, base half of is in uh, beta 1.73 terrain half of is in release 1.0 terrain uh, I also in MC edit marked and found and marked all of the Three strongholds currently in the world with a glass pillar to make them easier to find and more noticeable. Uh, in beta 1.9, a uh, pre release testing version for 1.0, the strongholds generated with a glass pillar above their. Uh, their end room location <coughs> excuse me so i decided to kind of recreate that by locating all of the strongholds and putting glass pillar to sky height that only goes to the surface level terrain so nothing was damaged in that and it'll be useful later so all right let's get going to our one point to our center and our 1.1 uh, terrain change and have a look at that when you're in peaceful mode your hunger doesn't go down and your sprinting is unlimited so this just makes it easier this is just tour that's all this is that's just terrain taking a while to load I'm recording some versions of Minecraft uh, take forever to load. It is very taxing. I just did this all with MC Edit. It's just to make it easy and simple. This would have been too boring to do any kind of videos on, and I don't have that kind of time. I can only sit for two hours at a time because I'm a disabled individual, so I don't have that kind of time. I need to do it all at once. Alright, here we are. We're coming up on the release 1.1 terrain changes. You get a slightly better look at a center or world border base. It's just a 17 by 17 cobblestone block and lit with jack o' lanterns. And it's just easy to use. I like it. Let's sleep so that it makes more interesting and easier video. Come on, the sun's going down. Boy. Thank you. There's easy access to the rest of the world. It just straddles the border. It is several rooms high. This is the basement. This is where all the nether connections will be in release 1.0. 16 because the basement is just an easy place to put it. Nether portals are loud. Alright, that is one floor, two floor, three floor, five, 
six, seven floors. I intend this to be a map viewing section and an elytra landing section. But elytras don't come until uh, release 1.9. We are a long way from that. So let's get on through the 1.1 terrain into the 1.2 terrain. Well, we got to get through the 1.1 terrain. And then we can get into the 1.2 terrain. I'll have a look at that. This is just a nice, easy way to cross chunks. It won't be the main way. <coughs> Excuse me. The main way will be however somebody wants to travel, whether they... Uh, when it's finished, Elytra, whether you want to walk, whether you want to use horses, that's in a future update. I think that's 1.4. Uh, whether... Oh no, that's 1.8. With the release of horses. I just really enjoy Minecraft, and I want to show you all the terrain changes, and I want to help uh, spur more interest in Minecraft. Uh, Alright, here we are, coming on the 1.2 uh, chunk border base. Now, it's just the same as all the others. Bison is an MC edit. I had some air pockets. It carves out some. It just makes life easier. Would have been boring to build on camera. <clears throat> I don't feel like doing it. So, it's just the same as all the others. These will not be placed uh, just only on chunk borders, but also in center of the terrain version, too. So now we're in release 1.2. They added birch to the regular forest to make it a little more interesting. <coughs> uh, 1.2 was a large terrain change. They added a lot of biomes. I forget a lot of the biomes, but we can review those later when we're actually building in 1.12. Because that's one I intend to build, is in 1.12. Uh, you all will be able to help me with that. Uh, if you join my Patreon at $5 a month, uh, you will get a producer credit, and you will get to help me design uh, the future builds and come up with good ideas on how to integrate them. And you also get a producer credit, and you will also get to uh, see the videos one day early. And it, there's no pressure to do it. Your company is more than enough, but if you feel fine, that's great. All right, here we are coming on the one, the middle of 1.2. This is the center set, center of the terrain for 1.2 and our next border should be 1.3 terrain and that's where I'll leave the video off so I just gotta fill enough air to reach the 1.3 terrain The reason I'm going to start building in release 1.12 is because that's when the famous 2B2T impact hacked client uh, came to be, and it makes playing far, far easier. It's my world, I will do as I please with it. Uh, if you don't know what 2B2T is, it's an anarchy server where there's literally no rules, but it's a very scumhole place. I don't recommend ever going there, but there are Minecraft mods uh, that integrate into the Minecraft version. I play Java, 
uh, it's only for Java that allow you to have a combat advantage and a finding chest advantage. It is a very ruthless place, but I like the client because the client is very useful for just playing normal Minecraft. Alright, here we are at the release 1.3 terrain base. This one ended up in the middle of the ocean, at least for the northern one. <coughs> Excuse me. And we will leave you off here, and I will see you in release 1.4.